everyone, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix Flair, and I'm joined today with Minho. Hello. So, <laughs> well, you've done something very bad, Minho. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. So, the wheel was spun, and uh, Minho got a choice of what he got to read. And instead of picking something somewhat normal... This I is could, normal. I could have accepted the Kung Fu Panda thing again. We could have read that again. I could have sat through the fucking Scooby-Doo and the fucking Spongebob shit, but no. <laughs> oh, those are all normal. They're all what you're complaining about. How did you even find this book? Um... I don't know, honestly. Why is it ongoing? <laughs> it's ongoing? What? It's Peppa Pig X Dora. What is this? <laughs> no, it's been two years since this guy wrote. It's probably oh, done. Oh, thank God. So, how did you find this? Did you just look like fucked up shit on, on Wattpad and, and then this popped up? Uh, I was looking for something with Dora the Explorer. Why did you do that? And then I was like, hey, this is... Interesting. Oh, great. <laughs> There's a lot of votes and reads. It has- it's a 28 minute read and it has 26 chapters- oh my god, we're gonna finish this. <laughs> this is the username, by the way. I can't be even begin to pronounce that. But, uh, it- the description reads, In this 100% family-friendly fanfiction- it better be, they're like children. Peppa Pig and Dora the Explorer have grown up and- now happen to be roommates in college. What could possibly happen when you throw these two together? Marriage. They get happily married. <laughs> I'm glad they already told us what happened in the story. We don't even gotta read it anymore. <laughs> no, no. We gotta find out what happens. Fuck, man. This this is the story summary. If you want the full story from JPLs, I encourage you to read the book. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, send me a DM for a prize. Historical fiction? No. Yeah, this is historical fiction. That sounds about right. Who made this? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm ready to read a few of her. Uh, let me look at these. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you were not lying of how short that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, if these are very short like this, I think what we should do is uh, we read two chapters, and then the other person gets to read two chapters. <laughs> You don't want to just go one by one? I mean, these are like a paragraph long. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but yeah. Yeah. Always give us something. Like, at least read two paragraphs before we switch off. Also, this first chapter has 1.3 thousand comments. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. A lot. Wait a minute, let me go back real quick. How many... How many views does this thing have? 170,000? Oh my god, there's- okay, I can't. <laughs> yeah, this is a classic. Classic, my ad. Close this goddamn ad. How do I close this? I can't. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Oh good, you get to read first. Don't mind if I do. Alright. It says, just before we start, I would like to thank you all for two votes. It really means a lot. <laughs> this guy's way more than two votes now. Yeah, how many is it? Oh, 761. Yeah, that's way more than two. <laughs> Alright. A fresh start. Today was the start of something new. Peppa Pig could feel sweat dripping down her pink nose, and her pig hands were shaking with fear. Gone were the days of blissful childhood and frolicking in flowers. Today was the day that she would put on her big girl shoes and step out into the real world. Today was a beginning. Peppa just wished she knew it was if it was going to be a happy ending. Yeah. Oh wait, that literally was one paragraph. Yeah, that's <laughs> I didn't like, yeah. Author's notes, though. What is that picture for the next one? It, the next one is called She Was Her Juliet. What is this picture I'm seeing? Holy crap. What's I am it? scrolling down a bit. That is cursed. 
All right, she was her Juliet. Dora noticed Peppa from across the hall instantly. One can say it was love at first sight. Peppa's seven foot one frame lo loomed <laughs> over Dora's, but as you know, height ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> this is. Why is she just, seven uh, feet tall? <laughs> you're just seven foot tall, just looming over some little kid who just explores for fun. This is uh, a. <laughs> This is, uh, it's not a good look for you, Peppa. Yeah. She went over to approach Peppa, who had infatuated Dora like a moth to a flame. <clears throat> the end result of this encounter would inevitably be dangerous, but Dora didn't care. She had to speak to this perfect pink pig. Some alliteration going on there. I love the author's notes of, what do you think their ship name's gonna be? <laughs> I Peppa love or Dora? I love that... These two comments that I first see is, God damn, her ass is tall, and then this one just says, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, let's not look at that image. Yeah, her first words. Oh, this is a little bit longer. Let's go, we got dialogue here. Alright, uh, what's this called again? Her first words. Hola, said Dora in a whimsical voice. I couldn't help but notice you. And Dora, by the way. Oinkle <laughs> oink. What? What's that? It's, it just says oink oink. Now you gotta say it again. No. Said Peppa. The random stranger that had approached her was be beautiful. What? what? <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. It's very nice to meet you, Dora. She said. I think they're British. <laughs> Are they? I, I, I think, or, well, I know for a fact that Dora is Spanish and whatnot. Yeah, Dora's Spanish. I don't know about Peppa Pig, though. I think Peppa Pig is either Australian or British. It's one I'm of those. Up right now. Yeah. Peppa I forgot Pig. which country it orients for, but I know it's not American because it's the accent that the, the characters use. Same thing with, like, Bluey. I know they're Australian. Apparently it's British. I was fucking right. <laughs> Peppa Pig later is gonna be like, can I get a bottle of water? <laughs> a bottle of water. Yeah. Fluttering her eyes, Dora noticed this for flirtatious gesture and began fluttering her eyes too. They began this ritual for, oh, maybe like two to five minutes. It's <laughs> a long time. Well, I'll see you around, beautiful stranger. Oh, Doya, you sure know I have a way with words. I. I jolly good hope we see each other again soon," said Peppa. <laughs> Dora nodded in agreement. They were going to the same college after all, so the chances were high. Little did Dora know they would be seeing each other again way sooner than expected. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Dora's backstory. Exactly. <laughs> that Dora lore. Laura. <laughs> no. Dora sat on the bus. It smelt. The bus driver was driving. It was going to take a long drive. Now seems like a perfect time to get her to think about her entire backstory and childhood trauma. That's what she needed. Dora's parents were so spineless that she could literally do anything she wanted. I guess like go out for adventures for a long period of time. She grew up having a hard time in school because she was adjusting to people telling her no for once. The teachers were mean because they said that she was delusional for some reason. She couldn't quite figure out why. It definitely wasn't her talking map that she assisted was totally real! <laughs> Looks like she has schizophrenia. Yeah. Oh shit. I think they made a joke about that in the Dora movie, like the live action one. Where like, she's a little kid, she's doing stuff, and she like, looks in a random direction that no one's in, and she just like, starts speaking, and they're like, Who is she talking to? <laughs> Sigh. As an adult, Dora had many problems. She really needed a therapist, but for now, counseling counseling her talking monkey for advice would do. <laughs> and talking in thin air. I- yes! Every time she made an important financial decision, she would ask herself if it was a good idea in Spanish. The employees at Gucci thought it was kind of weird to be doing as she was buying her 1500 Orange Gucci slice? Who the fuck needs orange slice? <laughs> Let alone Gucci. Her, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever, because it was a good price. 
Yep, Dora definitely needs a therapist. <laughs> I like this one. Therapist. What do we say when we have a negative emotion? Dora, swiper, no swiping. Therapist. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, your turn. <laughs> also, I don't like this face, this uh, front facing Peppa Pig right here. You see this? Oh, one? that is, uh. What the? You said you skimmed this book, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't freaking look at every single thumbnail. I was skimming the words, not the pictures. Dude, that's the first thing you notice, is the pictures. I did not notice a four-eyed pig that survived the blast of Chernobyl. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Alright, Peppa's dorm room. Peppa was very excited to meet her roommate. Who could it be? She entered the room. And it looked kind of like a jail cell, Peppa noticed. It looked way nicer in pictures, and, well, bigger. How disappointing. Suddenly, the door creaked open. Was it Peppa's mom? Her dad? No, it was... Dora! What a plot twist! <laughs> what the gosh dar- Oh, wait, what the god? What the gosh dar- <laughs> Are you trying to be British right now? <laughs> but they don't say gosh darn. When the bloody bloody blaze is going on around here. <laughs> I don't think I've heard any British person say gosh darn. That's like an American phrase. Yeah. They go like bloody, right? That's their whole thing. <laughs> bloody hell. I'm what trying the to get bloody, a bloody hell are you doing here? Yeah. Said Peppa. Are you a stalker? No, I live here. This is my dorm room, said Dora. Whoa. This could get spicy. It's get, get spicy. That's literally the next chapter name. Oh it gets my spicy. Uh, this is Peppa just wearing the sheriff hat. Yeah. UBK. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's why he had the or she had the um. What was it? The gosh darn. The American. Yeah, gosh darn. Yeah. Pretty sure. Dora and Peppa were both huge fans of Mexican food, so they decided to go out for dinner together. Was it a date, or was it simply a get-together between a human and pig? <laughs> Peppa hoped it was more than such. The night was going great. They were having a great conversation until Peppa asked Dora, What is your favorite breakfast food? And Dora accidentally responded, Bacon. How do you accidentally respond to something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Peppa was shocked. She ran out the restaurant crying. <laughs> How could Dora be so cruel? Dora was also crying because now she had to pay the bill. <laughs> I feel like she's uh, gonna be like, No, I was talking about like turkey bacon. I'm sorry. Could you forgive yeah. me? And you're like, Yeah. Where is it? It gets spicier? <laughs> Dora what was crying is because this? she had to pay the bill. But she had $1,500 Gucci slide. She can get the Yeah, she, if she can go buy Gucci, she can do anything. Also, I'm going to skip this next thing because uh, this is this is just a big-ass author's note. Okay. Cancelled. Alright. This is... <laughs> Dude, I feel like the chapter is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> Back There's to like some long chapters in the end, but um, that was... Um, they were getting later. their shit together, yeah. Peppa was so upset. Her life flashed before her eyes. All the time she had spent with her. They spent... Boy, they see each other in the hall and then they were like, Oh, you're my roommate. Should we go get something to eat? <laughs> All the beautiful moments <laughs> passed together eating tacos. All for nothing. Peppa sobbed as she grabbed a red marker and a glossy 4x4 of Dora. Tears were gleaming down her face as she drew a red X over Dora's face. Dora the Explorer was cancelled. Uh oh. Oh, you just delete us. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> Should've read the author's note. Oh shit, wait, what did the author's note say? I wanna see it real quick. Wait, close this goddamn advertisement. No free advertisement on this channel. It was quite a hard scene to write. <laughs> I was crying so hard, I couldn't exactly see what I was typing, haha. <laughs> oh god. Alright, what- This already looks silly, because the last thing I read on here was period, no tampon. <laughs> it was what? This next chapter, Yetus Deletus. Yetus Deletus, okay. Yeah. How could Dora make up 
How could Dora make it up to Peppa? She couldn't. There was no way. The best option was to pretend nothing had happened. She began texting Peppa. The text combo. Why are you mad? Question mark. It was when you said you like bacon. I lost my fifth cousin Jeremy to a bacon issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I, ne I never said that. Are she gaslighting her for <laughs> I I didn't fucking say that. What are you talking about? You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, you did. Fine, I'm sorry for saying I like bacon. Can we be friends again? Why did you deny that you said you like bacon? Dora deletes previous message. <laughs> I never said that. Listen up, Dora. You can delete the evidence, but you can't delete the facts that it happened. You really, you really need to learn how to own up to your mistakes, or you will be depressed forever. Dora, dot dot dot, Peppa, period, no tampon. <laughs> What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I always, I always see people go like, period, no cap, or like, period, like, on God. I never see no tip. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay. Right. Who said I can't wear my Converse? What's going on? Oh, I like that picture. Red. <laughs> the pig's red. But that just me. That's a good song, by the way. Uh, mama buy my chemical. Mama buy my chemical romance blasted on the CD player as Gray Pepper, Peppa's alter ego or alter emo, if you will, danced agitatedly. How could Dora take Pepper's heart and crush it into a million pieces? It was a lot freer not having a heart. Thought Pepper. I'm like getting tripped up because it keeps saying Pepper now. I want to say Peppa. <laughs> It couldn't be broken again. Pepper picked up the CD player and smashed it through the <laughs> flipping her black hair out of her eyes for the 25th time that night. The phone rang. It was Dora. Hola, mi amigo. Sigh. Pepper said aloud, instead of just actually sighing. <laughs> I'm busy being emo. Now, bye. Wait. Maybe we could be emo together? <laughs> <And Dora. laughs> I'll be right over. This time Dora sighed for real. What is happening? I have, uh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Our chemical romance. Warning, this chapter is very emotional. Okay. I I'll leave. I'll I'm gonna leave the room for that one. <laughs> The sun was setting over the horizon, casting an orange hue over the sleepy town. Dora and Pepper were emo, and they were in love. Their chemical romance was strong enough to defy even the goths. They were quaking. Their collective weave was in orbit of the supposedly round earth. <laughs> I want to declare my love for you in a somme that I wrote, said Dora, to the tune of Happy Birthday. <laughs> An asterisk. I, I guess this is in the tune of Happy Birthday. Yeah. I am emo for you. I'll take an emo for two. I am sorry. I am sorry. Bacon is friends and not food. Oh, bacon is not friends. Bacon is dead at that point. Pigs are friends, not food. Yeah. <laughs> Music switched to Screamo cover. <laughs> what the fuck is this? You picked it out! Why are you being like, my what is this bleeds, shit? <laughs> my heart bleeds out for you. Black sludge on my floor, a puddle of goo. I'm more surprised at the fact that this person came up with this. I yell at my mom as she walks out the door. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I can't take this anymore. My black nail polish is starting to chip. My fake tattoo is fading off my hip. My mom's black... Wow, jewelry is starting to slip. Oh, it's kind of some bars there. Okay. Oh shit, he's spitting. Rap gone. He's spittin', he's spittin'. <laughs> a black ocean of emotion. Oh, it's time to take a dip. Okay, that's good enough. I'm over this emo crap anyway, said Peppa. What? said Dora. I still have 420 more verses. I guess this is about to be a girl fight. What is happening? <laughs> I'm 
I'm just I'm getting invested into these author's notes. It's a lot of backstory. Wait, wait, like of the of the author? Yeah, it says, "Can you guys please give me some sympathy? My pet worm died." All right. Rip Harry Wormington. He died an honorable death in my salad. <laughs> this was inspired by real life when my dad became emo, and I sang him a five-hour-long departure song. <laughs> 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 I can see how this guy came up with this. Um, it's got a lot of trauma, I guess. Yeah. They're like, man, I could just throw this in my book. It'd be perfect. <laughs> and no he's... wonder it's historical fiction. It's it's part nonfiction. Yeah. See, that's why it's so good. You know. Even some fictional stories are based off of non-fiction stuff, you know? Exactly. Alright, M-A-C. What the fuck does that stand for? <laughs> to make their relationship official, Peppa and Dora decide to get their DNA tested together. Because Peppa has Amazon Prime. <laughs> the results get back in minutes. Damn, I didn't uh. know that Amazon Prime had fucking, like, Ancestry.com data like that. <laughs> Peppa went first. 98% pig. Wait, what? Peppa thought. She was 100% pig. Well, as she looked down, Peppa realized she was actually 2% vamp- what? <laughs> vampire, okay. Yeah, somewhere down the line of Peppa's ancestors had married a vampire. Very shocking information. Next, door looked at her results. She didn't think it would be anything more shocking than Peppa's, but boy was she wrong! And then scroll... <laughs> Dora the Explorer was 23% macaroni? <laughs> That's right. One of Dora's grandparents was a delicious craft dinner meal. How could this have happened? No one knows. It remains a mystery to this day. I don't know how to feel about dating a macaroni, said Peppa. Screw you, said Dora. I'm like one-fourth macaroni. Ew, fractions, disgusting, said Peppa. She was uh, seriously considering ending their one-hour relationship. This this feels oh, like uh, what is this? Uh, what's that thing called? Are you like fill in words with like whatever you want? Ad libs? Yeah. Or mad libs? I think that I think that is. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> fill in a noun, macaroni. Fill in another noun, vampire. Yeah. The hardest choice she's ever made. Is she not gonna break up with her because she's one fourth macaroni? <laughs> Peppa was very conflicted. How could this relationship with Dora go gonna end? And how the heck was Dora one fourth macaroni? Asking <laughs> These, the real questions. Yeah. But no relationship was gonna come without problems. This was just a dump in the toad of life, if you know what I'm saying. You know what, author? I don't know what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> I haven't been knowing I, what you're saying for the past 12 chapters. I'm not getting started now. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Peppa had a tough decision to make. She was sweating. A lot. Her pig hands were shaking with fear. Her four eyes quivering. Her <laughs> 11 foot... 7 foot 1 frame shook. It was a choice harder than the Emoji Movie versus Tall Girl. <laughs> Too fascinating... Fantastic movies, one hard choice to make, were- I don't think any of those were good movies! <laughs> <laughs> but this was harder. Peppa checked her DMs. There was a message from, at Chuck E. Cheese, the real Chuck E. Cheese. Could Peppa dump Dora for Chucky? Or could she sacrifice a chance with the ultimate date to continue the troubled relationship with Dora? Suddenly the answer was clear as the U as YouTube turns and- wait. Suddenly, the answer was as clear as YouTube's herbs and conditions. Not that clear. <laughs> Dumb Dora. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I understand. Yeah, yeah. I've understood so far. Do you? Can you elaborate mm -hmm. for me, please? <laughs> no, it's too sophisticated. No. Sorry. Is it me this time? I, yeah. I can't tell if it's been two or yet. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but okay. Me I'm either! XP. Uh, Peppa was gonna dump Dora over text, but she decided to wait. Let's see how this date with Chucky goes, she thought. Okay, so now she's dating Chucky e. Cheese. Alright. Yeah. Makes no, sense. She's Makes cheating sense. on Dora right now with Chucky e. Cheese. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, you know Chuck E. Cheese's full name is Chuck Entertainment Cheese? That's cool. That's a good middle name. Yeah, I just thought so much know that. <laughs> I'm Chuck, <laughs> but you can call me Entertainment. <laughs> She went to Chucky's house. She searched the address up online. She decided showing up unexpectedly was the best strategy. Of course. Of course it is. <laughs> no one answered, so she burst in. OMG, there was Dora and Chucky blinking their eyes at each other. Huh, what? Peppa felt so humiliated. How dare you cheat on me, screamed Peppa to Dora. Dora was dumbfounded. But you came here to Chucky. Chuck's house to cheat on me, too. Hmm, said Peppa, so I guess we're even. Both people cheating cancels each other out. <laughs> Good math. Yeah. It's like yeah, negative it's numbers. It just cancels <laughs> out. <on> the... <laughs> yeah, plus one, minus one, zero. Yeah. And it's hardly cheating at that, said Dora. Blinking eyes together is nothing like what we've done together. Dora is referring to the emo song they made together. Okay. Wait, said a third person. It was... Who is this? April Ann 410? Who is April Ann 410? I have this no idea. This user no longer exists or is only visible to a selected audience. Okay. Yay. <laughs> New feature. All right. Wait, said a third person. It was April and 410. I think Peppa and Dora might be a toxic relationship. Don't lie, April and 410. It's a healthy relationship, said Peppa. But deep down, Peppa knew that if she truly wanted a relationship with Dora, then they would have to work hard at it. Then suddenly, Chuck E. Cheese died. <laughs> oh my god, the plot twist. The was it a murder? Or did Chucky die from high cholesterol levels from consuming too much fake cheese? That's, that's very likely, actually. Good detective work. Mm -hmm. Just at that moment, he died too much. Maybe, maybe it was too much. Maybe he, like, rat poisoned. <laughs> what is this next? Look at that thumbnail for this next one. Yeah, that's, uh... Why is Shane that's, Dawson? You should make that the theme. You should make this the thumbnail. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. And I just had Peppa over the faces of some of these people. <laughs> it is not even a clickbait thumbnail because there's actually Chuck E. Cheese. Um. <laughs> actually, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Do you keep reading, or do, am I am I reading now? <laughs> um. I forget. I think it's me. Okay, go ahead. The clock goes tick tock. Uh, it all st one year earlier. Oh, wait, okay, before that, Chuck E. Cheese lied on the floor dead. <laughs> what a recap! <laughs> one year earlier, it all started with the click of a button, a simple app, the downloading of a digital future, TikTok. Everyone was talking about it. Celebrities were joining, and stars were being born. Chucky's management had advised the rat that getting hit with the hits was an effective way to boost business. They decided joining a social media was a good way, and they were desperate. Especially after the, for legal reasons, this is just a joke, expose of their recycled pizza. Is that why Shane Dawson's in the thumbnail? <laughs> is that... Oh my god, it is, because I remember, that's why that whole thing was, like, blowing up about the recycled pizza at Chuck E. Cheese, because he made a, an, like, a conspiracy theory on it. No. <laughs> and no one would shut the fuck up about it for, like, months. <laughs> Chuck's first TikTok was one for the history books. A dance did a hit-or-miss song that was sweeping the world. I'm one smarty farty, Chuck said to himself. <laughs> The kids would have to come back and get their parents to buy his greasy pizza. As he left the restaurant, a pack of 13-year-old Fortnite danced on him. What? As he left the restaurant, a pack of 13-year-old Fortnite danced on him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they did the gritty. <laughs> his ratty eyes leaked pizza residue. <laughs> After eating so much saucy bread, his entire internal water supply was replaced with grease. 
as his greased tears fell. The kids giggled and ran. I will never gain my empire back. My name has been besqueached far beyond saving. Nobody wants a human-sized rodent to cook their food. Chew? Chew? There's no C? Yeah, I get those Chuck e. Cheese. <laughs> no, just Chuh. Chuh decided he would not go out like this. He jumped from the dirt. Recycling is good for the planet. Why did they judge? Why did they judge it when it's pizza? Chuh ran into the nearby bar that also happened to be an old age home. On the door, there was a sign that said, "We're hiring." It was perfect. I can see what he's doing now. <laughs> he's, he's removing one letter from Chuck E. Cheese's every single time. It goes from Chuck to Chuck to. <laughs> Chuck. Uh, I thought it was a typo. No, this guy's just big brain. Yeah. It was perfect because it was flat broke. He ran in the building. The manager was Clifford the dog. Oh, that's why Clifford's in a thumbnail. Okay. Oh, good. Makes sense now. Do you need a resume? Said. I don't have it with. <laughs> I don't have it with me, but I can recite it from a memory. My qualities are that I'm slippery, greasy boy. I eat, can eat, I eat, can eat trash. And I once knocked a bird out of the sky with a piece of pepperoni. Yeah, that's uh, there's some good good deeds, good yeah. accomplishments. Can't really put that on his resume. He'll get people calling him left and right. <laughs> that's enough," said Clifford. This is actually a money laundering cover up, and I'd rather expose myself like that than listen to any more of your words. Chuck Chucky e. Cheese then slammed a hundred dollar bill aggressively on Clifford's face. Buy yourself a personality. Oh shit! Did not say that to Clifford. Damn. Ch chunky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Guy hasn't used Chucky e. Cheese's name more than once. Yeah. Okay, Chunky Cheese then began to sashay away like Rihanna on the Victoria's <laughs> Secret runway. Chunk then noticed Shane Dawson at the old age home bar money laundering cover up and plied Pliad toward him. I don't know what that word is. I have no idea. Fancy meeting you here, Dean Sausage. You're the one who ran my company into the dirt when you exposed my recycled pizza. Now it's time for you to get a taste of your own medicine, Strop in Dawson, because I'm gonna expose you. Expose you. Chuck then took out his camera and captured a photo of the Dawes man. He posted it on the gram with the caption, Dawson is older, that... We're getting an aneurysm read this. <laughs> okay, Dawson is older, that he's been letting you believe. Hashtag senior discount. After a long day of making everyone hate him, just like Dumpus Blorius. Oh, that's the author. author. <laughs> Chalky Cheese went home to see his date. I need love in my life, said Chippy Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, little did he know, Shane Dawson was sending a hitman to kill Chucky. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, too much happened. I... Too many... This is the longest... What? Death in the shape of a bee. <laughs> okay, good. We're back to short chapters now. <laughs> oh, wow. Of course. <laughs> Present day. Chuck lay dead on the floor. A peep everyone puzzled of why he was dead. Did I kill him? Wondering Dora. Nah, it couldn't be. Luckily, she didn't wonder it too loud because police officer Thumbelina should. <laughs> Who's Thumbelina? I have no idea. She was the one that made the discovery. He was killed by a hitman! A hitman? Everyone collectively gasped. <gasps> yes, and the hitman was. She pulled out a small object from from Chucky's ear. This bee. <laughs> the <laughs> bee movie. Yes. Everyone, More crossovers. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. <laughs> everyone was shocked. How could a bee be a hitman? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard," said Peppa. Police officer Thumbelina showed Peppa the bee. 
on his backside. Hitman for Shane Dawson and Clifford the top. <laughs> Just self-incriminated himself. Yeah. Wow, so that V really was a hitman, said Peppa. Yes, and Chuck is deathly allergic to bees. <laughs> So wait, isn't the whole thing with bees, once they, they stab something with their stinger, they're dead? Yeah, I- yeah. That's right. Alright, so this is weird-ass fan art. Wait, so is the bee alive? I- <laughs> why'd it just be a corpse? <laughs> Alright, do it. This is the next- oh my god, this is long. I get to recurse shit, let's go. Back to Sori. Oh my god, these- Fan art pictures are, uh... Amazing? Cursed. Yeah, yeah. Dora and Peppa decided to make up. They announced their relationship on Twitter, and Peppa x Dora immediately started trending. <laughs> People got, forgot all about that national treasure Scooby-Doo that had been jailed a few hours earlier for throwing an apple at a police officer. <laughs> Scooby-Doo throwing Sco in the jail. Scooby-Doo was sentenced to death, but no one cared because Peppa and Dora were dating again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, is this just like a cartoon world? Yeah. What the fuck did Scooby- Scooby just threw an apple! <laughs> That's assault. Yeah. The only person that cared about Scooby was his friend, the dog from Paw Patrol named Chase. <laughs> wow! This is so messed up, he said. I have a mission today, and that mission is to stop the police officer who unfairly convicted Scooby-Doo! He did some research. It turns out the police officer had several cases of using unnecessary force, even an incident where he allegedly killed an innocent bystander. Chuck E. Cheese. I must do something about this terrible police officer. He shouldn't be in jail, not Scoob, said Chase. Except Chase forgot about one annoying detail. Qualified immunity. Gosh darn it, said Chase. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke, and the genie from the Aladdin ma materialized behind. <laughs> you know, this fanfic is uh, pretty good, but you, you it can do a said... bit better by. Or not. I mean, this uh, Wattpad story, you know, it can do with some more characters. Yeah. It's a bit too bland, you know? Yeah. So, what was the plot of this thing again? <laughs> um. Dora and Pep are dating. They go into a fight. They write a golf song. Um, what happened? They cheat on. <laughs> they double cheat each on each other with uh, Chuck E. Cheese. They show just... up to his house. He's already dead. Turns out the bee killed him. And um, that's it. That's yeah. Yay! And they're back together as they announce on Twitter. <laughs> and now Aladdin's here. Yay! No, it's the genie from Aladdin. Oh, genie. Yeah, the genie. Yeah. Don't give up, he said. You can still beat the system. Try voting. <laughs> Chase was a dog. <laughs> Dogs can't vote, said Chase. Oh, right. I forgot. Well, neither can genies, said the genie. Great, <laughs> said Chase. I can't help my friend from being wrongfully convicted. The law protects the man that locked up my friend and murdered Chuck E. Cheese, and I can't vote. <laughs> What the heck am I supposed to do, Gene? It's an think... unjust system. Yeah. I think the only option left is violence. I could start by breaking a few windows. <laughs> Don't start fire with fire, said the genie. The only way to worse than... The only thing worse than being a murderer is being a hypocrite. Gosh darn it, said Chase. <laughs> the next day, Scooby-Doo is sitting in prison. So... What was your crime? A random man set in a bright red suit. Do the Scooby voice. I, I, that's your thing. I don't know how to do a Scooby voice. Here, just do it real quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're up a lot of police officer. What about you? I'm in for C-E-R-B fraud, he said. I'm talking- I'm Captain Kranken, by the way. Nice to meet- who the fuck is that? I feel like they're- Captain Knuck? Hold on, I'm looking this guy up real quick. I think he's a- I mean, these are all freaking bad. Uh, yeah, but I don't know who this is. Captain Kamal. Marvel character? This is it like is. Canadian he's Captain Canadian. America. It's like Ca Captain Cana Canada. Yeah, Captain Canada. <laughs> <laughs> there was a loud crash. Another man in a bright red suit appeared. 
Well, well, well. A Canadian and a Great Dane in an American prison. What are the odds? He put his hands on his hip and smirked. I'm the Flash, and I'm here to save you. The Flash. Okay. Anyway, Scooby, this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> save us? Said Scooby Doo. Well, you fall on the raw, and I'm a terrible criminal. I assaulted a police officer. And I took 2,000 Canadian dollars from the government and I wasn't entitled to, said the Captain Canuck. Fools, said the Flash. I only follow the law when it's convenient to me. No, come on, let's go. Flash grabs both of their hands, and I guess hand and paw. In the blink of an eye, they were out of the jail. Scoobers returned to his home and, what does that say? Calabas? Calabasas? Calabasas, and Captain Cook would return to Canada. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peppa and Dora were at their second date. At the date. My, my, what a lovely evening, said Dora. Yes, said Peppa. The fire is keeping me warm. They are roasting marshmallows over what is formerly a police station, but now a big bonfire. <laughs> Here's a s'more, said Dora, handing over one to Peppa. How romantic, she thought. <laughs> Did it just burn the police station down? <laughs> I think so. Damn. How many characters are gonna be in this fan fiction? <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> I know, real quick, if we do not finish this, we're not adding this to the wheel. I don't want to read this again. Oh wait, I see the end! Okay. We can do this. A purple thing appeared out of the flames. It was the genie from Aladdin! Haha, said the genie. It is me, the big bad of the story. I have set this police station on fire! <laughs> <laughs> to seem as though it was Chase, the dog who was upset at the police officers who locked up his friends. Peppa and Dora gasped. Dora's marshmallow lit on fire and burned to a crisp. What a coincidence that the bad guy happened to show up at to confess his evil plan without any prompting. <laughs> oh no! <They> just... <laughs> then there was a red blur of knocking the genie over. What was that? Peppa explained. It's me, the Flash, said the Flash. <laughs> he let out a vacuum cleaner and sucked the genie into it. What is this, fucking Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, yeah. As long as someone doesn't rub this vacuum cleaner, the genie will stay locked away forever, said the Flash. Nice, said Dora. Flash yelled at H A Chase, who arrived at the, s at the scene. Have you seen my friend Scooby-Doo? Yes, I have, said the Flash. I freed him. What about- all Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what about all the- What about all the black people that have been- that have been are in prison for nonviolent drug crimes and are forced into cheap labor. Can you free them too? You have the power to do so, said Chase. Bye, said the Flash and left. Flash is racist. This is a metaphor for how people have the power to make change but choose not. To. <laughs> 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 like the two Good comments metaphor. that I see is justice for Scooby. <laughs> Revolution. Wait, here's a black and white photo of me during the revolution. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, next part. Hail Justice. Okay, this is a response to comments. No, no, I'm reading, um... This is I'm reading update. this... What is this? Chapter? Yeah, I'll read this chapter. Which uh, one? The power of the people is stronger than the people in power. Alright. <laughs> did you read the fucking... Did you read the author's <laughs> All right, now read, read the L injustice thing. <laughs> L injustice. Yes. So I was responding to some comments and rereading some of my previous chapters per usual, and I noticed there was an ad playing in my book. You're telling me that Wattpad is making money off my hard work and I am not receiving a single paycheck? <laughs> now that my story has over 48k reads, uh, I refuse to work for anything less than nickels and dimes. Any of you, how can I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Update, back in the underworld part one? 
This explains the whole story in itself. I will interrupt the Peppa Dora book to tell you about my true story. 100% fictional. Alright. It was a dark and stormy night in a cornfield, uh, canvas. <laughs> Kansas. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was asleep in my bed when the wind started blowing really hard, causing Vin Diesel wing to fly off his head. <laughs> causing crashing straight through my window and smacking me upside the head. It hurt. A lot. Curse you, Vin Diesel! I yelled into the wind. As lightning flashed, it illuminated a giant, horrible tornado. I only had half a second to process the terrifying circumstances before me and my dog were whisked away. I closed my eyes in, sh in sheer terror, but I opened them again. I was so dizzy that I, I could register was the color yellow? We're still in my hometown of a cornfield, I said, relieved, assuming that I would see what I was seeing were an endless field of corn. <laughs> what are we in I know she said it was Kansas, but I feel like this is just Ohio. <laughs> hey, it's both. It's yeah. the Midwest. I was wrong. When my vision cleared, it became clear to me that... It Wait a minute. <laughs> it became clear that I was somewhere completely different. We're not in Kansas anymore, I said. I was standing on the foot of a yellow brick road. There's no way this author's making a fucking Wizard of Oz book right now in the middle of this Peppa Pig shit. It makes sense. What? Yep, you were right. It's Oz. Yeah. <sighs> How many... Are we gonna get back into the Peppa Pig thing? I wanna read that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right to El Drama. Here it is. El Drama. This is the- this is the- this is the Peppa Pig shit. Let's go. Peppa Pig and Dora decided to move to France. This takes place in 2019. <laughs> and they decided nice. to quit college since they never went to class anyways. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to go to France and see the Eiffel Tower, said Dora. Sime, it's so romantic, said Peppa, giving Dora a wink. I also heard that people get married here one a, here one a whim, said Dora. No, that's Los Angeles, you silly goose. Oh. That's Las Vegas, <laughs> not Los Angeles. This is Paris. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ma'am, this, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Peppa and Dora liked France, but they also liked each other. Maybe it was time to make things official, but was two days too soon to propose? <laughs> Yes! After all, they had witnessed a murder together. If that didn't prove the strength of their bond, Peppa didn't know what what would. I'm proposing, she decided. France is a perfect place to do it. She grabbed a slice of barbered wire off a fence and twisted it to a deadly beautiful ring. She enclosed it in a McDonald's quarter pounder disposable box and hid it in her backpack. When she went to the Eiffel Tower, Peppa pulled out the ring. Dora, I know we've only known each other for like two days, but I, I'm ready for to spend my rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? There were tears in her eyes as Dora uttered the words. It's only no. been two days? <laughs> she said I feel like that. it's been like eight months since reading this. Yeah. She said no! <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. You get to read the last two books, I think. Oh, wait, I'm gonna read this one, because this just says Second Big Bang. No? But why, she said. Then the universe exploded. Just ends there? Yeah, wait. Okay, now you get to read the last two chapters, starting with Psych. Wait. No, it actually did explode. <laughs> what if the world didn't explode? Seconds before the sun consumed the earth during the great explosion of the universe. Get ready to have your mind blown. Peppa and Dora's child from the future became Peppa. But from the future, become Peppa had a chance to propose and sold him. What is this sentence trying to say? I don't know. Seconds before the sun consumed <laughs> the earth during the great explosion of the universe. Peppa and Dora's child from the future? But come Peppa had a chance to propose and sold a ring. What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the universe exploded. That's the thing about time travel. Oh, okay, time travel, okay. 
Only intellectuals can wrap their mind around the paradoxes of intergalactical time and space paradigm excursional traversy. So I see this author has a big brain. Mm-hmm. And Dora and Peppa's child have a brain the size of a 64-inch flat-screen TV. <laughs> I like how that's the measurement. Yeah. It's from an alternate reality where everyone's heads are flat-screen TV. What the? Oh my god, is this... Okay, never mind, I can't say that. <laughs> okay, it's where everyone's heads are flat-screen TVs. Of the voice of a drunk Simon Cowell, their child spoke these five words. I don't know how he sounds like. Your marriage rejection explodes the universe, dog. So we have to get married, said Peppa. I was just jo joking by saying no. I didn't realize that would explode the universe. Oh, okay, said Peppa. She grabbed the barbed wire ring again and crouched down into the Chris, uh, cross Chris, into cross Chris Applesis. <laughs> I'm never calling that in my life. The cross Chris Applesis? <laughs> is anyone- is that a common phrase? Well, it's criss cross applesauce. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. is that another phrase, though? No, I think that I you just, just don't did know it on about? purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just ignorant. Like, this is just what they do in Kansas or something. Yeah. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> okay, crouch down into cross Chris Applesis. Will you marry me? Dora scratch her chin. No. The universe. Da, da, da. Exploded. <laughs> with a reverberated fart noise. It's a good touch. Alright, this is the last chapter. Oh wait, it's just an author's note? Is it an author's note? Let me see. The, the last chapter is an author's note, are you serious? Why is it not loading? A gift to our- okay, a gift to our loyal readers. Oh, yeah, it's an author's note. <laughs> so... Okay, so... <laughs> the world exploded, then. Yeah. <laughs> All because they didn't get married. That's, uh... Huh. Yeah, yeah I got closure good. from that. Did you think this was going to be the outcome when you decided to pick out this book? No, but you know what? I'm not disappointed. You're di did you say you're disappointed? I'm not disappointed. Oh, damn. Alright, good thing we found this behind the dumpster. One man's trash is another man's treasure, and this is your treasure right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is going in the classics. <laughs> is it? I can't wait to read this in my... Fuck, what is the- what's my line? <laughs> Add this to the reading list, that's right. I meant to do that. <laughs> and I guess I- I like how- <laughs> Oh my god, you can see in the first chapter there's like 761 stars and like 1.3k comments. Mm -hmm. And by the end, people are just like so out of it, they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's like no one reading that. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what is happening? There's- What, what is happening? There was Scooby, and he assaulted the police officer, and <laughs> Flash was very racist. <laughs> oh, there was a lot that happened. I'll oh, get this shit out of here. Alright. Alright, well, I guess we only have one thing left to do. And then is not read this book, it's to spin the wheel. <laughs> we'll read the sequel to this, if there is one. Hell no. <laughs> Alright. Good thing we finished that Peppa Pig uh, Dora thing. That way we don't have to add it to the wheel. Oh, well, you should add Dora in there. No! <laughs> we have enough A normal shit. Dora one. No. Alright, let's see. What, what did we get? Like Dora x Scooby-Doo or something. I know. Okay, you know what? Hey, I am fine go. with this choice. Everybody likes Kung Fu Panda. 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 You know what? Someone let the comment... It's- it's- uh, it's the same dude that's been commenting under, like, all of my, like, uh, Emerald stuff that we've been posting. It was, um, it was that peacocks do fly. Because we were peacocks questioning fly? it. Peacocks fly? Yeah, they uh, technically do fly. I mean, probably not for long, right? They just kind of float for, like, 
They're like chickens, I guess. No, they fly. Not that like long, long, but like... Flight? I don't think for like long periods of time, but they do technically fly. Oh. So there's your little tip. I'll look effect. up a video of that. Yeah, yeah. I'll look up uh, people flying. I'm curious now. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can pull up that comment, because it fascinated me so much. He was like, actually, technically, they do fly. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Peacocks can fly? Excuse me? It was like on the Kung Fu Panda thing. I was like, who left a comment on the Kung Fu Panda reading? <laughs> Especially Probably Master Shifu. Probably a Shifu. man of significant stature, yeah. I bet. Because, you know, only intellectuals read Kung Fu Panda. Exactly. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh wait, I found the video. Can I view all comments? No, no, no. Well, well, haven't... Like, I responded to. I did reply to it. Surprisingly enough, yes, peacocks can fly, even the males, which are the ones with the flashy tails. So Interesting. They, there you go, there's your little tip. And, see, the Wattpad book club's about education on this channel, after all. <laughs> I'll look up uh, peacock flying later. Yeah, let's go. All right, I guess that's it for now. I guess, I guess next time I bring you on here, we're reading Kung Fu Panda. Which, actually, I'm really loving that book, so I will give you a pass for your horrible choice on the wheel. Horrible choice? You yeah. take that back. Well, it wasn't a horrible choice now. It was it was a horrible choice back in the day. It's it's, it's good now. <laughs> but, but thank you for joining. I, I appreciate it. It gets lonely behind the Target dumpster. You know, they don't really throw a lot of scraps out here. And, like, uh, I'm running out of cotton candy. I'm actually out of cotton candy. <laughs> there. Yeah. You're, you're out, actually? Yeah, I'm actually out. I have to oh, eat my. other fucking candy. You need <laughs> just eat too much. Well, it's not my fault. It's good. All right. Well, check out the uh, description. The, the book's there if you want to go support the author and whatnot. And then there's a playlist of all the other Wattpad book clubs that I've done in the past that are probably way better than this one. <laughs> I, I can't wait to try to make a thumbnail for this. Use that uh, one picture. From that oh, don't worry, I'm here. going to. I'm going to slap on Dora and Peppa's face on there. Alright. Well, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>